Tonight, a former Playboy model gave her first TV interview about her alleged affair with President Trump. Karen McDougal says that she had an ongoing sexual affair with Mr. Trump for nearly a year, more than a decade ago, and right after Melania gave birth to Barron. KKL9 political reporter Dave Bryan is here in studio with her side of the story, Dave. It was her side of the story, and she had plenty to say. Karen McDougal told CNN that Donald Trump always told her he loved her. But when Anderson Cooper asked McDougal if she had any documentation of the relationship beyond two photographs that she had showed him, McDougal came back with, when you're in a loving relationship, do you try and collect evidence? In other words, no, I don't have any other documentation. But she had plenty more to say. You know, he said hello, like he would to anybody, and then throughout the night, it was kind of obvious that there was an attraction from his part to me. Former Playboy Playmate of the Year, Karen McDougal, describing how she says she first met Donald Trump in June 2006 at a celebrity apprentice shoot at the Playboy Mansion. A few days later, after dinner at a Beverly Hills hotel, things got more serious. We're talking about his birthday, and then as, as the night ended, we... We were intimate. After sex, McDougal says Trump hurt her feelings by offering her money. After we had been intimate, he, he tried to pay me. And I actually didn't know how to take that. But I looked at him and I said, that's not me. I'm not that kind of girl. And he said, oh, and he said, you're really special. Yes, it hurt me that he saw me in that light. And he obviously assumed that that's the kind of girl I was. McDougal is one of two women who have made news this month claiming they had an ongoing sexual affair with Donald Trump in 2006 and 2007, soon after he married Melania and she had their first baby. CNN anchorman Anderson Cooper asked her about Melania. If Melania Trump is watching this, what would you want her to know? Mm. It's a tough one. Um, or say to her? Yeah, what can you say except, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, I wouldn't want it done to me. I'm sorry. On one occasion, McDougal says Trump took her to his family's New York apartment. We passed a room and he said, this is Melania's room. She likes to have her alone time or to get a way to read or something like that. How did you feel being in his apartment? Guilty. Very guilty. guilty. Well, doing something wrong is bad enough, but when you're doing something wrong and you're in the middle of somebody else's home or bed or whatever, that just puts a little stab in your heart. But McDougal says the sexual relationship with Trump continued for nearly a year. Were you in love with him? I was, yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you think he was in love with you? He was, yeah. I can tell you we saw each other <clears throat> a minimum five times a month, um, up, up to bigger numbers per month. So we, Over the course of how long? Over the, over the course of 2006 um, through, I think I ended the relationship April 2007. So we were together 10 months before I chose to end it. So, so we saw each other quite frequently. So dozens of times you were together. Many dozens of times, And you yes. were intimate yes. dozen, many dozens mm -hmm. of times. Cooper asked McDougal about her motive for filing a lawsuit against the company that owns the National Enquirer, which paid her $150,000 for the exclusive rights to publish her story, but never did. Some people hearing that are going to say, look, you want, this is, you're in, in it for the money. You may go from here and write a book or make a movie. I'm not out to make money on this. I'm out to get my rights back to prove a contract was illegal, that I was taken advantage of, and then go back to my life. And she rejected the notion that she's out to get revenge on Donald Trump. I voted for the president. I voted for Donald. Why would I want to damage him? That's my party, Republican Party. That's my president. Well, the White House tells a very different story. Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders has denounced the allegation that Donald Trump had an affair with Karen McDougal as totally untrue, calling it more fake news, and insisting that Trump never had a relationship of any kind with McDougal. Jeff, back to you. Okay.